I try to use something from like my life at that moment. When I was reading the last book I just finished, I was with my sister, so I asked her for a business card and I used her business card as a bookmark, but I'll use ticket stubs, subway passes, um, business cards, little sh rips of paper, um, or flowers. I'll just find any object and then I leave the bookmark in the book and put it on my shelf and then I hope in like 30 years I'll flip through it and be like, oh, I forgot that I was doing that when I was reading this book. My ideal writing environment would be a cabin in the middle of nowhere and no one's around except for me. Um, and it's warm outside and I have the doors open and the wind is blowing in and I have like a cup of decaf tea next to me uh, and it's just so quiet and beautiful and perfect. The first writing that I did that was meaningful was probably on my mom's typewriter when I was in kindergarten when I would literally just write every word that I knew. Uh, which wasn't very many words at all, and I'm not even sure if it was a coherent story, but I was just so proud of being able to form words and type them out onto a typewriter and see them printed on a paper. I think I just wrote like the word and, the word but, the word I. Another thing I used to do was I would take my dad's newspaper and just circle all the words I knew in the newspaper, and it was again just words like the and of, uh, but I was very proud of, of of knowing words and being able to read them and write them. Yeah.